l'urgence, elle est derrière nous. C'est-à-dire que chaque année, à cause des changements climatiques, vous avez probablement trois fois plus de gens qui sont obligés de quitter leur lieu de vie que des gens qui sont obligés de quitter leur lieu de vie pour des raisons de conflit. Migration est inévitable, c'est nécessaire et c'est même désirable si nous manage it well et respect human rights, including helping people to prepare for the impact of climate change on their lives. Les changements climatiques sont déjà à l'œuvre et comme première conséquence, ça contraint provisoirement ou parfois définitivement des hommes, des femmes et des enfants à quitter leur territoire. Et donc la responsabilité de la communauté internationale, c'est de ne pas occulter un phénomène qui est à l'œuvre, c'est de le prendre en charge, de l'appréhender avec toute la rigueur, toute l'intelligence et tous les moyens nécessaires. In the field of migration, we stand before an historical opportunity. First of all, to negotiate a global compact on migration, first time this has ever occurred. But we also have the opportunity to integrate climate change concerns as a driver of forced migration into the global compact. We've been working on climate change for 20 years, publications and so forth. But we have not reached wide enough audience, and we think this is the opportunity to do it problématique que nous traitons, que vous traitez aujourd'hui, est une problématique essentielle face à laquelle nous n'avons d'autre obligation que d'accomplir notre devoir d'humanité. It is very clear that when they are displaced, that existing vulnerabilities become exacerbated and that when you move people from, and we know this very well in the Pacific, when you move people from the coastline where they're used to being fishing people into, onto higher ground where they suddenly expect it to be uh, farming people, that this already creates great disruption for their way of life and the way of life of the entire community. Well, we would like to see a recognition of displacement as a result of climate change in the compact. And we would like to see a human rights approach to any such migration. I think it's very important that any solution, anything that results from such migration, be based on human rights and dignity. The platform on disaster displacement is working very closely together with IOM to get the issue of environmental migration and displacement in the context of adverse effects of climate change into the global compact for migration. People who have to flee across borders are not refugees, they are not protected by international law. However, many states have developed good practices. They grant temporary protection, they grant humanitarian visa, and the global compact on migration provides a unique opportunity to bring these practices together, to help states to harmonize them, to make progress, particularly at regional and sub-regional levels. It is important for, for the civil society to be involved, included in all the process, together with local people, uh, migrants and potential migrants. It is our role and it is our responsibility to and make sure that people can share the feeling of urgency. The majority of the movements are happening either at the national level or at the regional level. So the first, most important thing I would say is to build the resilience of national governments and national communities. But also at the regional level, build the resilience of regions. Cooperation between regions is going to be part of the response. We cannot continue looking at the consequences. We have to attack the causes uh, and certainly building the resilience at the climate change level is extremely important. That is why we have been supporting very much and trying to uh, bring to the attention of the international community the issue of human mobility related to climate change. So addressing climate change is one of the ways of addressing certainly the mobility that comes from it. We don't have time to lose. We need to act now. <laughs>